Transfer content from an iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch to a new device you can use iCloud or iTunes to. Transfer content from your current iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch to another device. Before you begin if you have an Apple Watch and you're about to move content to a new iPhone, you need to unpair your watch from your current iPhone first. Unpairing automatically backs up your Apple Watch. Now you're ready to set up your new iPhone. After that, you'll pair your Apple Watch with your new iPhone. To move content to a new iOS device, you need an iCloud or iTunes backup of your current iOS device. Use iCloud backup your current device using iCloud. Then, you can transfer the backup to your new device. Make an iCloud backup number one. Connect your old device to the internet with Wi-Fi. Number 2. In iOS 8 or later, tap Settings iCloud Backup. In iOS 7 or earlier, tap Settings iCloud Storage and Backup. Number 3. Make sure that iCloud Backup is turned on. Number 4. Tap Backup Now. Stay connected to Wi-Fi until the process finishes. Number 5. Make sure the backup finished in Settings iCloud Storage Manage Storage. It should appear with the correct date and size. Transfer your SIM card or contact your carrier here's what to do if your current device has a SIM card. If your carrier gave you a new SIM card, put it in your new device. If your new device uses the same kind of SIM card as your current device, transfer the SIM to your new device. If your new device needs a different kind of SIM card than what you have, or if you aren't sure, Contact your carrier. Then transfer your iCloud backup to your new device. Transfer your iCloud backup to your new device number 1. Turn on your new device. A hello screen should appear. If you've finished setting up your new device already, learn what to do. Number 2. Swipe left to right on the hello screen. Follow steps until you see the Wi-Fi screen. Number 3. Tap a Wi-Fi network to join. Number 4. Follow steps until you see the apps and data screen, then tap Restore for iCloud Backup next. Number 5. Enter your Apple ID and password. Number 6. Choose a backup. Make sure it's the right one by looking at the date and size of each. After you choose, the transfer starts. If you've purchased iTunes or App Store, Content using multiple Apple IDs, you'll be asked to sign into each. If you can't remember the passwords, you can skip this step by tapping don't have an Apple ID or forgot it. Number 7. Stay connected and wait for the process to complete. If you disconnect from Wi-Fi before the process finishes, the restore process pauses until you reconnect. Restoring from a backup can take a while depending on the size of the backup and the network speed. Finish up if possible. Keep your device connected to Wi-Fi and plugged into power until your cloud content downloads to your device. Cloud content includes anything stored in the cloud instead of your backup, like photos and music. This content will download automatically in the background. Depending on the amount of content, this could Take a few hours or days to finish. If you normally use iTunes to sync content, you can also connect your device to your computer and use iTunes to sync any additional content. If you haven't set up iCloud Keychain, you might be asked to enter passwords for email, social media accounts, and other apps. Use iTunes backup your current device using iTunes. Then. You can transfer the backup to your new device. Make an iTunes backup of your current device number 1. Connect your device to your computer. Number 2. Open iTunes and make sure you have the latest version. Number 3. Select your device. Number 4. Save content that you downloaded from the iTunes Store or App Store. Click File Devices. Transfer Purchases. Then wait for the transfer to finish. Number 5. If you want to save health and activity.
Data from your iOS device or Apple Watch, you'll need. To encrypt your backup, select the box called Encrypt Device. Backup and make a memorable password. Write down your password. And store it somewhere safe, because there's no way to. Recover your iTunes backups without this password. If you don't need to save health and activity data, you can make a backup that isn't encrypted. Just click backup now. Number 6. After the process completes, make sure that your backup finished successfully in iTunes preferences devices. You should see the name of your device, along with the date and time that iTunes created the backup. If you encrypted your backup, you should also see beside the name of your device. Transfer your SIM card or contact your carrier. Here's what to do if your current device has a SIM card, if your carrier gave you a new SIM card, put it in your new device. If your new device uses the same kind of SIM card as your current device, transfer the SIM to your new device. If your new device needs a different kind of SIM card, then what you have, or if you aren't sure, contact your carrier. Then transfer your iTunes backup to a new device. Transfer the iTunes backup to your new device. Turn on your new device. A hello screen should appear. If you've finished setting up your new device already, learn what to do. Swipe left to right on the hello screen and follow steps until you see the Wi-Fi screen. Connect your iOS device to the computer that you stored your iTunes backup on. On the Wi-Fi screen on your iOS device. Tap Connect to iTunes. Follow on-screen steps until you see the apps and data screen, then tap Restore from iTunes. Backup Next. Enter your Apple ID and password. Choose a backup. Make sure it's the right one by looking at the date and size of each. After you choose, the transfer starts. If you're restoring from an encrypted backup, enter the password when asked. Wait for the process to complete. Then finish the remaining setup steps and sync your other content. Finish up keep your device connected to your computer and use iTunes to sync any content that wasn't in the backup. If possible, keep your device connected to Wi-Fi and plugged into power until your cloud content downloads to your device. Cloud content includes anything stored in the cloud. Instead of your backup, like photos, and music, this content will download automatically in the background. Depending on the amount of content, this could take a few hours or days. To finish, transfer a backup to a device that you've already set up to transfer a backup to a device. You've already set up, you need to erase the device. Tap Settings General Reset Erase All Content and Settings. This will erase any data that's currently on your device. After you've erased it, your device will restart. And you'll see the hello screen. Now you can transfer a backup to your device. If you like my video please don't forget to like and subscribe.